was gonna say, uh, and like you said, it's like a mindset. Cause I remember when I met, like this was like the greatest epiphany to me. I had met Spike Lee at Webster University. And I saw all these people running up to him, giving him like they films, like, yeah, help me, help me. And I'm like, this man got his own family life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't expect another man to help you. You have to do, you have to put yourself on. You got to work hard on your own. You know what I'm saying? Get that mindset to be like, I have to do this on my own. You can't, like a lot of people expect others to oh, help me, help me. But they don't want to do the work. We got to figure out what on my own means. Mm-hmm. That's a big word. Mm-hmm. And figure out how you how would you feel on the other end. So that's how you should approach people. So going up to somebody like that, it's almost like going up to a girl, be like, "Hey, let me fuck." Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my name is Kiwan. Let me fuck. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. It's by relationship. Same way as an artist going to a DJ, you can't say, "Hey, spin my record." Facts. Right. It's come from credibility. Credibility is good in the street, and credit is good in the business world. So those words are very important. Mm-hmm. But you have to build a rapport with people and feel it to fill people out. That might not even be who you need to talk to. Right. He might be the first thing in the world to help you. Right. Just because they big and powerful and this and that, that might not be, no, that might not be, they, they don't mean they're compatible to you. Mm-hmm. Just because she cute and he handsome, they don't mean they're compatible. Mm-hmm. Feel me? So yeah. you got to watch your approach and watch how you come and make sure your shit right. You know, it might not be, you may not be in your time of life to even talk to that person in a certain manner. It may not be, you may not be ready yet. You can't come to a label and be like, oh, okay, just because they own a label and I know I can rap, let me go talk to her. No, you need to get your views up. You need, it ain't exactly. the time. <laughs> Introduce yourself and be like, hey, I'm such such, you know, my views and all that ain't there yet, but I'm on a mission. Look out for me. Yeah. Good yeah. to meet you. What you doing? I'll be there soon. You know, right. stuff like that. I saw that with 50 Cent when you saw when a dude just approached him while listen to my stuff. And 50 was like, hey man, bro, I'm chilling with my you don't just run up on nobody and say that, bro. Oh man, you get shot out here these yeah. days. And I even read 50's uh last book, uh The Hustle Harder one. And he was just talking about how the dude came to him and was like, Hey, uh, I can make your website better. You know what I'm saying? Instead of him coming up saying, put me on, he offered him a service that could you know, help him. And he's like, in turn, it really did work. And he brought him on as his, you know, overseer of the websites and brought him on as a photographer and all type of stuff. So like you said, it's all about the approach on how you approach people too. So yeah. Yeah. yes, people, I'm years ago, this business, that's my business part of this man. So mm. man on a random, hey, what's up? And then me going back to the Instagram, seeing what they're doing and then seeing what they, they didn't approach me about that. They approached by something else. I just went and looked at what they was doing. It's like, I'm interested in that right there. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's just how it go. Like, I can talk to you about rapping, go to your house, and then we'll end up leaving talking about a film. Exactly. You see what I'm mm-hmm. It go, but I got to be cool enough to go to your house. Cool yeah. enough to talk to you twice. You know what we I'm saying? We did that before. <laughs> talk about something else. I'm like, hey, bro, let's do this film. And then, uh, and then, so you you know me, I, I ain't gonna get into all the messy stuff. You know, all the stuff already going out. So uh, with the you know the Nelly and the Ali stuff. So my uh, question is, do you see? I'm, I'm I'm gonna start asking the opposite question. How uh, you feel about the uh, the whole thing? Yeah, how it look? So I don't know how it look on my. I want to know how it look from everybody else. From from from, from, from listening to po- to both of them. Um, even like at the awards, I think no matter what, like <clears throat> if you have, a, even if you have a disagreement with each other, I still feel you should, he should have announced Ali because he, he was a vital part of all the success. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what issues I have now, this was a person that was part of your success. So I still think he should acknowledge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, um, as far as the other, like the little beef or whatever, I, I don't know. You know, I'm not inside the circle. We only can see what we see. But in that aspect, I feel that he should have at least acknowledged. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what do you feel about that? About that part of it? Yeah. Uh, you should acknowledge it. Yeah, you should acknowledge it. Uh, for, for Lifetime Award thing, yeah. anything like yeah. If it was a song he just did or something, then... Uh, 
I can understand it. But if it's something about lifetime, about how we got started and what yeah. the lessons and all that shit, yeah, you got involved, Ali. So it just be weird. You know what I'm saying? All that shit be weird to me. So I don't really know how to be. I just learned not to really put myself in other people's shoes and tell me in other people's shoes. So I feel you. Um, all right, moving on from there. What tick, I don't know what tick them off, what tick them off, all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, but I just know it respectfully. I know that Ali helped a lot with. Oh yeah, just listening to him, even listen to both of the interviews, even even listen to Tanelli interview. I can tell Ali helped a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, right. I feel you. Listen to his interview. I feel you. Yeah, just listen to both of there. So, but anyway, it's on on, on kind of hard to skip over, but I think um, the future is what you make it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just everybody got different approaches to to uh, feelings. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of shit that happened, but a lot of shit happens because it's, you know, sometimes it's because it's their first time. You know, and sometimes first time can last 20 years. That's your first time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, like, I'm guaranteed two trains ain't going to do what he did when he was with DTP that he's doing now. Exactly. Yeah. Lil Wayne ain't doing the same thing he was doing with that before he did, before after he got the money back from, uh, Cash Money Universal, so it, it's it's a, a lot of first times. It just be so big that you seeing me you, you seeing me shooting in the gym for real all my life because you know CEOs are created when they fifty fives and shit. Mm-hmm. Right, big question. So we gotta look at it like that. A lot of time we be in a race because for one we dying young and we want it right now because if I get it when I'm fifty, I ain't gonna be able to go to the club in a in a uh, in a Lamborghini. So. We rush, we rush into what we need to do and our learning capabilities. But if we really want to rush, we can just teach the younger people now that's coming up next and then they get it faster than we got it. Mm-hmm. You know, they ain't got to go through that 20 year learning process. Indeed, facts. Uh, let me ask you this on um, last question on that. From your perspective, do you think either one of them was more wrong or do you just think that's just how they see things in their own way. No, I I agree with a lot of things, and I disagree with a lot of things. So it's to it's to your it's to your liking. It's to whatever you feel like in your way. I can see. Okay. All right. Let me ask you this. Moving on to this next topic. Okay, right. Lack of communication. So that's period. Yeah. So now just listening and hearing how people feel. Lack of communication. Yeah, I think egos always play a part in that. Like. Uh, I was just listening to my pastor and he was saying a conversation is not for the other person to just be waiting to rebuttal what you're saying. You know, it's actually listening, you know what I'm saying? Trying to understand and feel how that person feeling instead of like ready to combat what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? So I think uh, I think egos always try to play a part into, you know, because things can be handled with the conversation uh like you know, what about no conversation though huh what about no conversation though you saying if you don't have no conversation yeah what about the no conversation part like that's the whole that's even deeper that's why you so, should have a conversation that that's why i feel you should not let anything linger <laughs> you know what i'm saying like if you feeling something get it out because stuff builds up you like you can build up over the years and then this person may not even know and then you might step in them, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel, especially if you had that relationship, man, you should be able to talk to brother, sister, mama's cousin, anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, or it I'm probably was if you don't do that, then it the, probably wasn't, you didn't feel like it was a friendship at all, you know what I'm saying? No, I think we talk to people that we don't know more than we talk to people we know. Yeah, that's a fact, too. Yeah. That's why media is big, and that's why, that's why nosiness overrides the whole world. Nosiness is what runs getting in your ears. <laughs> it's just it's just nosy. It's just you know, even I was talking to somebody about Meek Mill. A Meek Mill, uh, they said he flopped. I was like, how do you know that? Like, how do we know? <laughs> so, so with you, like, like you understand that you can go on the site and you can see, like, in the movie world, you can see what they made. You can see how mm-hmm. much they, what they made overseas. Yeah, you can't really do that in the record business because. For one, the people with control of the money is trying to hide the part that they spent. Anyway. Exactly. exactly. So, you would never, so how do you know 
what's a flop because it's my profit margin, right? So if I'm not putting enough money into making your album be as much, because you can just pay for it. You can just pay for, you know, it's a certain way you pay for it, but you can pay for it. You can pay for get, being somebody being able to get a chance to listen. Once you're once you're big like Meek, once you once it's in my RAM, I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna push it. Mm -hmm. He ain't did nothing that bad to not push it. Not at so, all. That's, so that's all streams are. Mm -hmm. It's to push it. So they make us as artists think that streams run the world, and it's kind of really giving. It's really giving your shit away. Right, exactly. Right. Look restaurant, look at the menu and then leave. So how does, <laughs> how does it build if you just coming in and leaving? If you're not spending no money with me, exactly. Spend money with Spotify's and Apple's and us. When you spend money with me, so now they my frame customers. My frame is I supported you because I listened. Exactly. <laughs> That's the real talk. You ain't well, lying. Capital to get enough to get in front of people with the name, then your streams are at medium. So now you got to see average, and now you only making three or four grand a month. So how can you live off that? How can I put money back into me being big if I ain't making no money? But I'm spending way more than that to make the album, right? So that's why even with Murph, with Murph album, we give you the singles on platforms, but the album is is store.newmurf.com mm. it's $10 if you, don't, if you don't like it bring it back that's what I hey, that's yeah. a great, that was a great thing too. I, uh, I'd rather sell 30,000 40,000 copies than to get a million streams facts because you get if more I, money if, <laughs> shit. If, if I'm not finna get 30 million streams then yeah. I'm What's no the money point? yeah you, People that look at you and like you and all that shit, but you can do that with a single, then that's case. And they so, like to tell all your true supporters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and we actually have those. So why do we lose by just saying, being so happy with having something outside? Yep. We'd be so happy with, with uh, people noticing you. Yeah, people really love fame. Over, I, I see that a lot. You know, people will choose the fame over the money up in this pay. So, every do, time, do you think, uh, the even though you know technology has helped artists, do you think it's hurt them also? Like you said, with the streaming, it's not like back in the day we used to be able to sell physical albums for real, like they didn't cut out DVD, CDs, and all type of stuff now. Yeah, they definitely gonna cut it. They couldn't wait to cut out CDs, bro. Like, you don't even, people don't even know, like, the shit happens so fast. Like, they don't even understand that two things is why it happened fast. One, they already saw seeing TV do it. We've been paying for cable forever. Yeah. And getting free TV. <laughs> you feel me? Because like, one thing, it just feels like you're paying charter and then i can get 140 channels so i feel like i can flip in time what it's like the movies right exactly so then the second part is the people that manufacture and people that pay for manufacturing of creating the cd the physical thing mm -hmm. it's costing them up front mm -hmm. so if i can sell you it's like money it's like you get paid from your job but they pay it they it's a number they send to a place that hold a number and when you're ready for it you can get it but you're not going to get it physical you tell me what number you want us to send a number to Crazy. which is right. you paying your bills through a number you would never touch it if oprah go ask for our money back right now cash they ain't got it that's crazy right so imagine imagine trying to supply all the targets all the walmarts all the mom and pop all the radio all the physical copies i'm spending money on that i'm spending 40 cent 90 cent you know what i'm saying yeah exactly yeah so when you sold a million i spent a million to even get even make that so now when everybody come out even if you terrible i'm spending so much money already so now the recoupment is different so I read, now they're ready to spend that money on marketing. Mm -hmm. 
It's just the business. Like, that's why it happened so fast. Like, yeah, I remember even the Apple computers, they stopped making the CD players on the side and all that stuff. So they were like, nah, CDs is gone up out of here up in this place. But let me ask you this, Kiwa. 